Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, it's Turlos, the number 6, and we're rolling right along with the Tekken 7 Farewell series. Get those dislike buttons ready boys, because I'm actually going to try to talk positively about... I got this! Josie Rizal. So why do I like Josie? Honestly, I think one of the biggest reasons I like Josie is... I never really liked Bruce. Okay, wait. Hear me out for a second. I didn't really get into Tekken until Tekken 7. Tekken 7 Season 4, to be exact. So, to me, in my head canon, Josie didn't replace anybody. Whatever rapport particular characters built up with the community before Tekken 7, I was completely oblivious to. So, I never understood the mild hatred for Josie. I do get it now. I disagree, but I get it. <clears throat> anyway. Why do I like Josie in and of herself? Well, Josie is the reason I bought Tekken 7. Not the reason I got into it, but the reason I bought it. I thought she was adorable, I liked her Eskrima kickboxing fighting style, it didn't bother me that she was a crybaby, and honestly, her only flaw in my eyes were the colors of her default outfit. Not a fan of yellow. But when I saw Josie overall, I decided that Tekken 7 might be a fun game to check out. Of course, it took four more years and Lydia to actually get me to play seriously, but without Josie, I wouldn't even own Tekken 7 and I probably wouldn't have cared about Lydia when she did come out, so I have to give a shout out to Josie for that much. All in all, I'm comfortably on the I like Josie side of things. KO. Round four, fight. <laughs> Why did I start using Josie? As I explained in the last segment, she was always on my radar as a character I wanted to learn. I just dropped Tekken 7 entirely until Lydia. But after playing Lydia for a while and feeling like branching out a bit, I didn't have to look far for someone else to try. Now that I had a rudimentary understanding of this game, I figured I could go back, pick up Josie again, and I'd have another character. So that's what happened. Josie wasn't hard to learn, but oh man, is she hard to master. I mentioned him last video, but Ultra Instinct Josie is the guru when it comes to this character, for me anyway. Yeah, there are a few other killers out there that use Josie, but Ultra was the one who unlocked her true powers. His dedication to this character is something to be respected. The name fits, believe me. You 
you win. Yeah! I did it! I got this! Josie's legacy is an odd one, but like Katarina, it's fully contained within Tekken 7. As I mentioned, she was the replacement for Bruce as Seven's kickboxer. Of course, we also got Fakumram down the line, and he certainly made an impact, but it sounds to me like Josie was very much a mixed bag for the community. Some love her, like myself, and some hate her, and now I know why. Though I think it's a bit unfair, and I think Namco could have brought her back for 8, maybe toughen her up a bit, instead of adding Azucena, who apparently is the replacement for Josie and Katarina? I would humbly reject that notion, personally, but it seems Josie is yet another one-game wonder. A lot of those came out of Tekken 7. <laughs> a terrible time to pick up and come to love a character, don't you think? But in the end, I will always be on Josie's side, even with all the crying, the speaking English rather than Tagalog, or at least Spanish, and the awful color choices for her outfit. She is why I bought this game, and I'll be forever grateful for that. Josie, you will be missed too. Round four, fight. <laughs> Thanks for watching the penultimate episode of the Tekken 7 Farewell series, my friends. We got one more to talk about, the whole reason we're here. Lydia Sobieska. Do me a favor and don't miss it. But for now, take care, my friends. Tekken 8 is almost here. Us. Don't forget to subscribe!